Ask Reddit by Dr. Aria Fort. What is something more emotionally painful than getting cheated on? Watching your most precious person die a painful and scary death and knowing there's nothing you can do about it. Fuck cancer. Fuck cancer. Death of your child. Edit, this certainly got a lot of traction and a ton of responses. For those who have opened up about losing a child, no matter how young or old, how recent or how long ago, and those that lost siblings and have lived with that pain to your family, and even those who had friends whose deaths wrecked their families and parents, my heart goes out to everyone. Too many responses to reply individually, and most probably won't look back to see this edit. Was just the first thing that came to my mind and quick comment as it's something I fear greatly and can't stomach to think of as a parent of 3 under the age of 10. But I get choked up thinking about anyone who dies especially children with parents still alive, or siblings, or any extended family. I truly cannot imagine a deeper pain. Seeing a loved one go on a downward spiral and you can do nothing to stop it. I feel you dude. I don't know why, my logical brain says there is always a way but in situation, I felt helpless or defeated probably because of proximity and survival mode getting triggered. Being abused by a parent that's a whole other level of betrayal. Every day I look at my son I can never understand why my parents could hate me enough as a child to do what they did. I had to just let it go before it consumed me. Losing a person that you truly loved. Especially if they are your parents. Suicide bereavement. I lost my best friend in 2022. Found him. Every day is a struggle to not be in my grief. I'd take 100 heartbreaks, 100 nights of going to bed hungry, and 100 punches right to the face just to have him back. Suicide bereavement fucking sucks, I get it. I'm so sorry for your loss. Being neglected and damp, rejected by your parents when you're a child. It's just because they are stupid and selfish, not because you deserved it. It was never about you, it was and still is about them. You just got crappy parents, and that sucks because there are lots of good parents, but you don't have to carry that with you still. So my ex-wife of 22 years and I split because she felt she felt she was gay and wanted to explore herself. It hurt but I accepted it and moved on. We stayed friends because of the kids. Just last week she tells me she has met someone and has been dating. I'm happy for her until she says it's a guy. Literally crushed me and I've been in a pit of despair since. It's not about you, it's about her. Lucky for you she spoke up and you split. Try to feel sympathetic for the other guy, he doesn't know what he's in for. And remember, you will really only see the good side of that relationship, but there is always an on public facing side as well. Mental instability. It's cruel because it's your own mind killing you, you can't run or hide and it's long winded. I couldn't say a single event has been more emotionally stressing that what's happening. It's like you're dead in your 20s but haven't been buried till you're 65. Having your mother pass away in your arms. It's definitely poor taste to compare tragedy, so I'll say in a similar vein having your parent quietly yet unexpectedly pass in the next room. Not getting to say goodbye is harsh. Watching someone you're still in love with move on almost immediately. My ex's current relationship anniversary is one day before she broke up with me. As far as relationships go, being abandoned by your former partner is pretty damn painful. Yeah, where they just keep distancing themselves until they are gone. Being emotionally neglected by your parents, or being bullied as a kid. Anything painful that happens in those early developmental years really. That was my upbringing. And my mum thinks she did a good job with me because you turned out fine. No, mother. I really did not. When someone steals your research, hands it in first, gets the high distinction, then everything you submit is plagiarizing that a shat. 
who did this to you? Having to break up W the one you still love BC you know it won't work. I've been there. Watching someone you love, or care for deeply, walk away from you knowing there's nothing you can do to stop it from happening. Going through this RN, I don't know what to do. Realizing someone was only your friend to see what they could gain from you. There's no limit on the depth of someone's emotional pain, no matter the cause. This one has more truth to it than most seem to see. Just about anything can crush your soul if it hits the nerve right. Losing both of your parents less than 4 months apart. Lost both of my grandpas a month apart it was like life turned itself into a chapter and that one had ended quickly. When the person stays with you but they secretly still yearn for that other person, even if no cheating occurs. Alexa, play Georgie glimpse of us. Being with a toxic partner and forming a trauma bond so you're unable to leave them. I was lucky, I was only with them 4 years. But it's been almost 3 years since I left and I'm still emotionally recovering. My brain will never be the same. I was best friends with someone for way over 40 years. We met each other when I was in first grade and we've been friends ever since. Sure, over the years, we've had periods where we weren't spending as much time together. I joined the military during the war and had gone away for about 10 years but we still talked on the phone once a month. But for the entirety of our childhoods and all throughout our 20s we spent pretty much all of our time together. And when we turned 18 we lived together on and off in between living with girlfriends. And for about 12 years after I got home from the army he and I saw each other pretty much every other weekend. To say we were as close or closer than brothers is oversimplified. To me, he was part of my family, when I made life decisions I didn't just think about myself, my wife and my kids but also how it might affect my buddy. He took his own life about 4 years ago and I'm never going to get over that. I'm 50 years old so I'm never going to make another lifelong friend. In fact, it occurred to me earlier this year that the odds are pretty good that until I die the only people I'll probably spend any time with outside of work are my wife and son. That's not really terrible but it's sort of sad to realize I don't, and probably never will, have a real friend ever again. Between that revelation and the huge loss of someone so close to me I would take being cheated on any day. Your 20 year old child suiciding. Really sorry for your loss if it happened with you. Knowing what you could have achieved instead you lost time. Believe me, it will haunt like hell. I don't believe I could have achieved anything I didn't. If I could have I would have. I lost the ability to feel regretful years ago, I'm not bragging about this but I'm just pointing out it's possible. Being ghosted at the end of a 7 year relationship, 